we are at a small peak just after the full moon. I believe it's about 8.20. Let me check. I'm going to check my clock here because I think this camera is just a tiny bit off time-wise. 8.22 p.m. 12 minutes after. And uh, I'm kind of jiggling the phone, but the moon is up there somewhere and it just came in. So uh, there was a tremendous blue light behind the moon. Uh, not in front, but behind. And I did see Archangel Michael and Ashtar, both with swords. And I was like a sword carrier as well. Almost like cutting this old energy and uh, the connection, the ties uh, to this emotional programming. As you can hear down below, the traffic is really not very pono up here. Um, but there was something else going on earlier, and that was um, I heard these rumbles of like booms. And while well, this is a military training center around here, and they were probably firing some cannons, and so it's kind of significant that just before 8:10, the full moon, uh, that this, these cannons were going off. If they were indeed cannons, but the, the the booms were going off. So something I haven't heard them since, and I really didn't hear them before. So there was some significance with that as well. Uh, that was just before the official full moon time. So um, I kind of sense that the work here is done. Uh, and I'll be going back to the car and uh, finding a place to sleep. And uh, maybe I'll be going back to Tom and Gordon's house. But I don't know. We'll just see where it goes. There is the full moon, Rachel, coming out. Oh, such a babe. He was really very happy, very happy. Even though it's an artificial, this is an artificial object, there is sentience up there. And uh, it's not very pleased with having to perform this emotional, dark, emotional programming for so many, many, many years. There we go. Aloha. Mahalo.